everyone, it's Sarah here from Federation University Australia. I've been called out to this property behind me. You can see some pigs. Now the farmer is having a problem. He's got these beautiful looking sheep, um, beautiful looking pasture, so nice and green, but the sheep just aren't putting on any weight. And so one of the reasons why this might be is if these sheep have a worm infection. Now, the worms um, get into the sheep just by eating the grass. So here, we've got some nice clover and the larvae are just of the worms are just actually on this pasture here. So when the sheep eat the pasture, eat these lovely green leaves, they actually can ingest parasitic larvae. And then these larvae will go into the sheep's stomach. So the sheep has four stomachs, so some of them will end up in the fourth stomach of the sheep or the small intestines. Uh, and then here they will develop into adults and then they'll mate with each other and the female worms will produce eggs. And these eggs come out with the sheep poo. So it's really easy to test whether these sheep behind me are suffering from a worm infection and that's the reason why they're not putting on any weight. So would you like to help me do this? Excellent! So what we need to do first is because the eggs are in the poo, we need to get some sheep poo. So here I've got some sheep poo and what I should do because I'm handling sheep poo is wear some gloves. So we'll just put on these gloves Now the first thing I want to do um, is weigh how much poo I've got because that will allow me to work out how many eggs in these sheep behind me, eggs being from the parasite. So what I've got here is some scales and so I'm first just going to weigh the poo. So what I want to do first, um, like any good scientist, is actually pair the measurement scales and then I'll drop it in and I'll work out how much I've got. So I've got about 20 grams here so note that down. So next we want to do is we actually want to make a paste with this poo. Because these eggs are quite small we actually have to use a microscope which I've got here to have a look at these eggs. So with me I brought some solution so this is actually just a saturated solution of salt and so I'm going to pour some in there to make a paste and so I'm going to pour in 50 mils now the next thing I need to do is mix it up and make a nice solution homogeneous solution we say now because we're using a salt solution, the salt solution is actually saturated and what that does is it means that when we look, put this liquid under the microscope, the, float, the eggs are actually going to float to the top of our microscopic slide and that's going to make it easier for us to measure. Right. Now I've got a nice, not so nice smelling solution. We are now going to um, do the next step, which is actually just to filter it. So obviously the grass, we've, the sheep have been eating this nice grass behind us. Um, and so by filtering it, we can get rid of all the grass particles that have come out in the poo as well. So all the roughage. So I'm just going to filter some of the solution through this cloth. Now another good technique is if you have a strainer then you could use a strainer. So just filtering it out. And so I've got a nice solution here that's not full of grass. Now the last step I want to do is take this solution and fill take some of this solution and put it in this slide. Now this is a specialised slide for worm counting. It's called a Whitlock Universal Slide. Um, and what it is, it's a chamber. So we can actually put fit liquid in between the two 
pieces of glass which make a chamber and when we look under the microscope it's actually got lines so that just helps us look for the eggs and make sure we know where, where we're up to when we're counting. So with my pipette, I'm actually going to gently fill the chambers up on a slight tilt so we can see. We do a couple of chambers. And then we're going to place it under the microscope. Now I can turn this one on. And now I'm going to have a look for eggs under the microscope. So if you guys are still willing to help me, what I'm going to do is send you some pictures of the parasitic eggs that I find, if I do find some. And then I would like you to help me count them. So at the bottom of this video will be an activity sheet that you'll need to download and try and count these eggs. Happy counting!